Stephen Colbert revealed his way of shaving off some pounds. During the Monday, December 11th, episode of The Late Show, the host, who canceled his tapings at the end of November due to his recovery, shared details of his recent appendix surgery, including his massive weight loss. He recalled feeling under the weather after taping an episode with David Letterman. I woke up the next morning just in abdominal agony, he explained. I figured the pain would go away, it would pass, so I decided to do the show that night. How bad could it be? Turns out, extremely. Extremely bad, he continued. I didn't know that it was my appendix and I didn't know that it had burst, even though the pain just got off the charts by the time I made it to stage that night. He noted the pain was manageable when he was just sitting in his chair, so he was able to get through filming. Following the surgery, Colbert admitted he lost some weight and jokingly compared the procedure to Ozempic, a popular weight loss drug among celebrities. After thanking his family and his doctors, Colbert had one more shout out to give. You might be surprised that I'd like to thank my appendix, because you giving me blood poisoning helped me lose 14 pounds, he stated. Ladies and gentlemen, you heard it here first. Appendicitis is the new Ozempic, Colbert added. As OK previously reported, on the November 20th episode of The Late Show, Colbert had another shocking monologue where he dissed President Joe Biden for his old age. In celebration of the president's 81st birthday, Colbert took a dig at him as he officially became the oldest sitting president. Oldest leaning president and oldest just lying down to rest my eyes for a bit president, he joked of Biden, whose approval rating recently dropped below 40 percent. Biden voters say they are more motivated by their desire to stop Trump than by support of the president, Colbert quipped. Well yeah, nobody buys a fire extinguisher because they're big fans of pressurized foam. Due to concern about the commander-in-chief's old age, his team has instated the bubble wrap strategy, which allows him more time for rest and cut down his international travel. Colbert then impersonated Biden, saying, hey everybody, knock knock, to which the audience replied, who's there? Not sure, but he's been standing silently in my doorway for a while now. He's a pale fellow, big cloak, long sharp knife on a pole. Smiling right at me, great set of chompers. Look into his eye sockets and see a little movie about all the fun stuff I did when I was a kid. Good stuff, funny guy, he said, alluding the father of four is being visited by the Grim Reaper.